Hey guys, welcome back to Day in the Life Disney. We're gonna kick off this brand new year with a video on what you should expect if you're planning your next Disney trip in 2023. So let's dive into this video and I can give you some great updates that are coming up now with Disney, things that are opening and some closures. So let's get started and let's dive right into this Walt Disney World video 2023. So there are some big changes coming to Walt Disney World this year and I wanted to share them with you in this video today, but a couple things we need to figure out what you want to do in Disney when you're visiting this year. So the number one thing I would think as a Disney World uh, video blogger is what do you want to ride? There's so many great attractions and rides for everyone out there, but I would start making a list if you're a newbie, never have been to Disney before, what exactly is your game plan on what do you want to ride? What have you heard about the rides? And let's start from there. So the biggest ride to debut in 2022 last year was going to be in May, Memorial Day, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind kicked off its grand opening and this is going to be that indoor roller coaster located inside Walt Disney World to Epcot. I personally have ridden this ride about six or seven times. It is truly a masterpiece. The engineers and um, the team that designed this are just brilliant. My husband absolutely loves this ride. He could ride it over and over again without feeling any type of way. After about two rides, I'm done with it. Look for my Guardians video. I'm gonna be coming out with that shortly on my channel and I will tell you how to snag a boarding group for that ride. So here are some refurbishments that are going on in 2023. If you're traveling during this time, you definitely wanna take a look at your calendar, making sure none of these dates are gonna interrupt your vacation. So the Frozen Sing Along Show is currently closed now until the 28th of January. Rock and Roller Coaster is going through a small refurbishment that is closing February 20th until this summer. No exact date this summer when it will reopen. Cali River Rapids is going through a little bit of a revamp. Not any surprise there. It started in January, which is typical for these water rides on the winter months. And then Splash Mountain, we've all heard, is now going to go through a total revamp. No longer going to be considered Splash Mountain, closing on January 23rd. When it reopens in late 2024, it will be themed differently. Disney Skyliner will be closed starting January 23rd to January 29th, so please make sure if you're staying at any four of these Walt Disney World Resorts, Pop Century, Art of Animation, the Caribbean Beach Resort, and the Riviera, that you are now going to utilize that bus system to take you to Hollywood and Epcot instead of the Skyliner during this time. Okay, so here's one we've been waiting for for over four years since they started construction on this one. Inside Disney's Magic Kingdom, Tron is going to be opening. This is going to be Disney's fastest roller coaster at Walt Disney World, and we do have an actual date of its opening. It was just released this week, April 4th it is. I'm sure we'll have a virtual queue for this one, but I'm so, so excited for this to open in Magic Kingdom. Okay, and just to let everybody know that the Walt Disney World Railroad is now open. It has been closed for the past four years. Guardians of the Galaxy, like I said, is now open inside Epcot and Space 220 opened last year, I believe, inside Epcot. I have eaten in Space 220 Lounge. It is an amazing dining experience. Definitely wanna snag that one on your advanced dining reservation day. So we talked about some rides that you definitely want to check out this year, Guardians, Tron, and now we're going to dive into what you should be checking out regarding eating and food and dining. So let's dive into some of the things we can see this year in 2023 at Walt Disney World with dining. So the big opening we're waiting for in 2023 is going to be Woody's Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. And this is going to be themed from the Toy Story movie franchise, obviously with Disney. And we can expect barbecue food. Now this is going to be located inside Toy Story Land at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And I will tell you when I was there in September, we could definitely see 
some of the um, construction and the buildings and some of the toys on the outside being put together and just all coming together. So this is supposed to open in spring this year. So we're really looking forward to it. I hope when I'm there in May, I can uh, get a seat inside this barbecue place um, because I think it would be really, really fun. There is a new cake bake shop coming to the Disney Boardwalk. That was the formal home of the ESPN Club. So if you're into really sweet stuff, definitely wanna check out that bake shop on the Boardwalk. Okay, so here is the list of festivals that will be hosted inside of Epcot this coming year. Right now, currently, we are at the Festival of the Arts. This is actually a really cool festival. I went to this before in January and just really, really neat stuff um, for you to see and purchase at the Festival of the Arts. Kicking off on March 3rd through July the 5th is going to be Flower and Garden Festival. Also really cool with inside um, Epcot. But my favorite has to be um, starting in the middle of July, July 15th, the Food and Wine Festival. And that runs you all the way until November the 20th. There's so many great things to try at the Food and Wine. So if you do get a chance to go to Disney this year, definitely go between July and November. And then of course for the holidays, we have the Festival of the Holidays kicking off on November 26th, running to December 30th. So like I said, if you have a chance to go to Epcot, definitely check out one of these great festivals. So whether you're going next month or if you're going during the springtime or the sweet summer days in the heat of Florida and Orlando, you're going to have a great time. 2023 is going to be an awesome year to visit Walt Disney World. We had some things that opened last year that if you didn't have a chance to make it last year, they're just going to make your trip this year so much better. I would say some key points I want you to hit is definitely that virtual queue for Guardians of the Galaxy. We would expect that Tron would also have a virtual queue, which is opening on April the 4th. And then we talked about Woody's Roundup Barbecue opening in the spring in Hollywood Studios. So lots to look forward to this year. I know that food and wine is going to be amazing again this year like it was last year. So I hope that you have something planned for this year with visiting Walt Disney World. There's never a bad time to visit Walt Disney World. So if you can, <clears throat> excuse me, if you can, definitely want to plan on going in 2023 there's so many great things that are coming your way that's all i have for this video please be sure to go ahead and hit that like button subscribe for more videos i am going to be having a video come out soon of my top dining restaurants in 2023 thanks for watching have a great day